NASA and the Space Science Institute is a make your own uh, stained glass earth. So this is a really cool activity. We were going to have something similar to this for uh, Earth Day celebrations and because we couldn't uh, hold Earth Day celebrations at the library with the COVID-19 issues, we wanted to make a little uh, take and make steam kit for you to do this. So all the instructions, this is the most important sheet in the bag. You'll see this color sheet with a picture of the Earth underneath the NASA logo and this will have all the directions. It's two-sided and what you need to successfully construct a uh, stained glass earth that you can hang in your window uh, and it will really be neat if it's uh, in a window facing the sun to uh, kind of illuminate that and provide some colors around your room. So what you're going to have inside that kit, I've already cut some of these out for you, is you'll have a template of the earth um, that will feature um, kind of a black and white image of the earth and you're going to colorize that with uh, the other uh, items inside the packet. So you'll kind of see it has the polar caps, the north and the south with the snow. You'll see the land masses there and the ocean. So you'll have uh, several different colors of tissue paper. I've kind of pre-shredded mine, so we have some green, have some blue, and we have some white. So those will represent the different aspects of the globe you're working on. So the blue will be the ocean areas, the green will be the land, and the white will be the snow I just showed at the North and the South Pole. So what you're going to do is uh, cut out that template of the earth. Those are the two things that you'll need that we don't have in the kit. You will need uh, a hole punch or something to poke a hole uh, to uh, hang up your globe. And then you'll need a pair of scissors to cut out the paper plates. Uh, and then you can just tear up the pieces of tissue if you want to do that. So everything else you need is in the bag, including the glue, all the tissue paper, uh, the paper plates, and that. So um, one little point, I can show you my finished one here. So this is what mine looks like. I don't have a window behind me, so you can't see the light uh, coming through it. I'm trying to get an angle there. Kind of hard to see the, the details uh, the way it is right now. But one thing I wanted to point on the paper plates, you'll use two paper plates. So I left one uncolored. This is the ring on the back, and then the ring on the front I colored black the way they did in the direction sheet, kind of mimicking that it's uh, seeing the Earth from space and doing that. So you can color the ring whatever you would like. I kind of showed you uh, two versions I have on mine. And then you have that hole punch that you'll make at the top where you can use a string or a pipe cleaner uh, to hang it up for that. So you fold the paper plates in half to cut a little circle out of the center, and then that makes it easier for you to cut the ring of the paper plate. So uh, on the directions, it's saying to cut a circle that, that goes a little bit further in, but based on the size of the image of the earth they provided, it actually works a little bit better if you go all the way, use the edge of the plate and just go a little bit in. So if you can see that kind of perforated edge, I started to cut right where the bumps start around the edge of the plate. So if you use that as your guide, um, it'll, it'll allow you to, to uh, cover the entire image of the earth that they provided in the picture. So what you're going to do is lay down your earth, put down a piece of wax paper. You have a piece, a large piece of wax paper included. You can cut it in half. You'll put one piece over the earth. You're going to use the includes, uh, included bottle of glue, and you're going to put some glue on the area that you want to work on first. So you can pick wherever you want to work on. If you want to start doing the snow first, you'll rub a little bit of glue. You can use a Q-tip, or you can just use your fingers, as long as you have a paper towel to wipe them off on. And you're going to uh, put glue on that snow area. And then you're going to use your torn up pieces of tissue paper and put them along that area. Then you can move on to what you want to do next, the ocean or the land areas. And you're going to work your way down the globe until you've done the entire globe covered in the right color tissue papers that you want to use for that. So you'll keep adding glue. If you, if you do the entire earth, the glue will dry too quickly before you get to the bottom. So it's best just to work on a section that you want to work on and then keep going on to the next one. After you get that all done, you are going to then, uh, your plates that you've cut out, you're going to want to attach um, the plate um, to your um, <clears throat> to the square you've cut out of the wax paper. 
So it's best to kind of glue, put glue all around the corner of that. Doesn't need to be all the way to the outside. You're gonna to wanna to go more on the inner part of the circle you cut and then press that against the wax paper. And then you're gonna let that dry. So you can come back and check on it later. You can even break this up over a day or two if you wanna do that part for the first day and then come back the next day. But if you're doing it all at once, you wanna let it dry for a good 10, 15 minutes, come back to it. Then you're going to um, do flip it over and you're going to uh, glue the other paper plate that you cut out on the back side of it. <clears throat> so it's the same kind of thing. I lined up my rings where it's kind of like if you were stacking the plates together where my outer ring fits inside the inner ring. So it's a little bit easier to keep it together because if you had the rings going opposite ways, uh, there wouldn't be that much for them to glue to each other because they'd both be pointing different directions. So I kind of had the white plate face the same direction as the side I colored black. Now you can kind of glue all of that area, press it in, and then you're going to flip back to the first side that you did, and you're going to have a wax sheet. You're going to put uh, glue either directly on your earth or on the wax sheet, and then you're going to lay that on top of the area that you did all of the uh, tissue paper. One little tip on this one, I cut my circle. I used the earth I was using as a guide to put the tissue paper on. I cut my circle of wax paper so I could just uh, glue that right to the front that it would be the same size as my earth and I wouldn't have to cut off the extra part of the square of the wax paper. And then you're gonna let that dry. Uh, when that's dried for about 10-15 uh, minutes, then you're going to come back and try to find something really heavy. I grab some big books, and you're going to want to put it on a table, or um, on a placemat, or on a work table, wherever you are, and then you're going to want to put some heavy books on top of it. The heavy books are going to help flatten out the curved part of the paper plate, because if you look at the paper plate in the bag, you know it has that kind of curved uh, edge to it to keep everything on your plate. You're going to want to flatten that out, so you're going to leave it uh, under some heavy books for about 20 minutes, and then you'll have your finished globe. You can get that hole punch, or get a parent to help you punch a little hole in the top, and then you can uh, hang up your globe with that. I chose kind of a sparkly pipe cleaner because it was making me think of kind of stars to go with my black space ring that I painted around that. So I'm just going to twist tie a pipe cleaner there, and then you've got uh, your stained glass earth. So this can hang uh, in a window. Like I said before, it'd be really great if you have a window that is either facing the east or the west, so it'll get the sun kind of shining through the window, and then it even shoots some pretty colors uh, around the nearby walls and whatnot from your earth. So that's the activity for that. And then you have other things that are kind of cool in the bag. You've got some stickers in there. So this is a uh, globe observer. This is another thing we were going to do for Earth Day, but it's got a great website on the back. You can do some citizen scientist work any time of the year if you want to um, have your parents help you download this free app on your phone or iPad or tablet device you have. And you can uh, help, help NASA track clouds or mosquitoes in the summertime or trees, the height of trees in your neighborhood. So it's a really cool thing where you can submit uh, data that helps NASA scientists uh, track those things. So that is in there. You've also got a NASA at my library sticker, which is really cool. You can put on a folder or something you have for schoolwork. And then uh, if you remember that exoplanet kit we had a while back where you're making those styrofoam exoplanets, they put in a cool postcard of um, Proxima B. So this is an artist uh, concept of what um, this exoplanet might look like with its nearby star. And that's a postcard that's thrown in your bag too. So I really hope you enjoy this week's uh, Steam Take and Make kit. If you have any questions or comments, you can let us know if you're having any uh, difficulties, be happy to help. But everything you need is in the bag, the glue, the wax paper, all the tissue papers, the direction sheet, the stickers, the postcard, that's all in this week's Take and Make kit. So you should have just about everything you need uh, to make your earth uh, stained glass windows. So I hope you have a great week. Thanks everybody, bye.